Some effects allow you to create patterns from the contents of a photo. The CC Plastic effect allows you to create and stylize highlights based on the bright areas in your image. So if you're following along, we're in folder three in the chapter two folder in the exercise files. And inside of here, what we're gonna do is take the dome.jpg file and let's import this into After Effects. I like to drag the JPEG file right into the project panel. And then as we did earlier, to create a composition, let's grab the JPEG file from the project panel and drag it right into the composition panel. And now with our composition created, showing in the composition panel and the composition showing in the project panel and the JPEG file showing as a layer in the timeline panel, let's come over to the effects and presets and let's come in here and search for plastic. So I can see that here under the stylized group, CC plastic. Let's click and drag and drop this right on top of the JPEG. Now this will automatically bring us over to the effect controls. So let's come in here and open up these three groups. We have our surface map, our lighting, and the shading. So this effect will create some 3D effects on the image. So I'm gonna come over here to the main composition panel and I'm just gonna zoom up. I'm gonna bring this up to about 50%. Hit the space bar, pan this over to the side here. And now over in the effects and presets, let's come in here and take a look at what some of the settings do. So the first thing I'll do is come down to the shading group come down to the ambient light, and I'm gonna bring this down to about 30. So drag this down to about right here. This will really darken up the image, and you'll immediately begin to see some of the highlight areas now have this sort of plastic effect. We have this highlight that's being cast over top of those white areas as if they were made out of plastic. And now we can come in here and make some additional changes as well. Let's come up here to surface bump. I'll come in here and just increase the height a little bit. And as we do that, you can see the effect of the plastic height is now being modified. We can also come in here and change the softness just to blur that out a little bit. And then we can come down to the light and change the light direction. So negative 45 degrees is the default. I'll click and drag this around and change the direction of the light. Now you can keep playing with these effects and create all types of 3D and plastic looking effects on your image. But what I wanna do is I wanna use this particular effect to create what will look like sort of a line drawing based on this image. So I'm gonna come up here to the center and I'm gonna click on reset and that will bring all of the settings back to their defaults. And I'm gonna come down and I'm gonna first make an adjustment to the cut minimum. And this is basically the darkest areas of the image. And since this is set to zero, this means the darkest areas are showing up in full opacity. So let's come in here and just drag the cut minimum up a little bit. And as I drag this up, this will start to pull out the darker pixels. So I'm gonna come in here and set this to about 93. I'm gonna cut a good portion of the dark pixels out. And that's gonna leave me the lightest areas here. Next, I'll come down to the cut maximum, which is controlling the pixels that are the brightest. And I'm gonna come down here and just decrease this to about 82. So since we're pulling out the brightest pixels and the darkest pixels and leaving just a little bit in the middle, this is going to give me that line drawing effect that I'm after. And now I'll come down here and decrease my magnification. I'll go down to 25% just so we can see a little more of this. Next, let's come back to the effect controls and let's go over to the light intensity and I'll increase this to about 143. And then let's come down to the ambient setting under shading and let's bring this from 75 up to 200. And so with these changes in place, I'll come back here and change my magnification to fit so we can see the entire photograph. And you can now see the results of the effect across the entire photograph. And since the lighting will vary in just about every photograph that you take, what I'm looking for here in this particular effect is a couple of areas where the effect looks pretty uniform, which I can see in these three sections on the left. And so to make use of this effect, what I did at this point is chose composition, save file as, and then chose Photoshop layers like we've done earlier and then imported it into InDesign so I could use the graphic in a postcard design.